First at 11, though, a plea to save water in the aftermath of the major water main break affecting Metro Detroit. Good evening. I'm Dave Llewellyn. Thank you for joining us here at 11. Tonight, nearly two dozen communities are being urged to turn off their sprinklers. The Great Lakes Water Authority says people need to limit water use while crews work to repair the giant main that ruptured last weekend. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cass found out why it's so critical to conserve right now. Well, if you were impacted at all by that boil advisory on Saturday, you should be limiting how much water you're using. Cities like Troy and Sterling Heights are alerting residents not to water their lawns, hoping to ease the pressure on the system. It's a rare warning in a Great Lakes state, but nearly 1 million residents in Metro Detroit are now being told to limit water use and keep outdoor sprinklers off. What we're seeing is that uh, people are trying to use the system as if we are under normal operations. The Great Lakes Water Authority sent the notice out today to 23 communities after noticing dips in pressure stemming from ongoing repairs to a major line break near Port Huron. That's having a larger draw on this system than what we can appropriately handle right now because of the emergency conditions that we're in. In Troy, the city issued an emergency suspension on outdoor irrigation. 80% of its water comes from Port Huron, but with that source closed off, they and other communities are getting all of their water from Detroit. That system isn't really designed to service that many customers. So what we are seeing at night during irrigation times is we are seeing a drop in pressure. And anytime you drop below 20 PSI, you have to have a boil water advisory because contaminants can get into the water system. Sterling Heights also issued a similar alert, hoping to keep up pressure and avoid another boil advisory. It's a minor inconvenience uh, considering uh, all that's at stake here. And in Troy, where the city was close to needing another boil advisory, many residents feel the same way, vowing to keep the sprinklers off until repairs are done. We're grateful to be able to still use our water and drink our water and let Mother Nature do her thing. Now, the city of Troy says with their ordinance, they can actually issue citations for this. However, they do not expect to have to do that. In Sterling Heights, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News. Brett, thank you. We posted a link on WXYZ.com with the communities under a boil water advisory and also the best ways to protect your family.